Well, thanks to Martin for all the big races from Cheltenham. We're off to Wynn Canton now for the Somerset National over three mile three furlongs. One is Molly Orson, Malik's Cherry, Rico Barris, Boreas, Martin Leadham, Wizard, Martin Leadham, Another Way, Obi Wan, Diamonds, Obi Wan, Sands Law, Stu Gray, and Alexander Mix, Stu Gray. Those are the seven horses in the Somerset National. They're at the start, and the rain coming down here, yeah, the ground heavy. Molly Awesome takes him along from Rico Boreas on his outside. In between horses, another way. Uh, Sands Lawyer is also right there for Stu Gray, just behind the leaders, Alexander Minx. On the outside of that is Diamonds, and Wizard has the rails, but there's only two lanes first to last year, so jump the first. Um, slow jump by Wizard and Diamonds at the back of the field, but it's Molly Awesome leads for Alex Cherry with another way on his outside. Rico Boreas is three wide. On the rail, the stable companion of Rico Boreas, Wizard. On the outside of Wizard, Sands Law and Alexander Minx for Stu Gray, and traveling four wide Diamonds at the back of the field for Obi Wan as they jump the next. So Molly Awesome. Two lengths, three lengths clear of Wizard and Sands Lawyer, the two Martin Leadham horses. In between the Martin Leadham horses is, uh, well, he's Sands Lawyer, it's Ricky Boris and Wizard for Martin Leadham. Just behind these is another way. Then Alexander mix up on the inside for Stu Gray, and the back of the field we have Diamonds. But then you've had five lengths first to last year as they come past the grandstand for the first time. Still a long way to go. Molly Awesome reaches for that. Jumps it a bit slowly, but so was Wizard, wasn't that great in second either. As Sands Lawyer moves past that one. Another way is back in fourth. Then comes Rico Boreas with Alexander Mix on the rail, uh, followed by Diamonds as they pass the winning post for the first time and head out on their next circuit. Okay, we've probably got two circuits left to travel here as Molly Awesome leads from Sands Loy as they jump the next. Molly Awesome from the Stu Gray Horse Sands Loy. Alexander Mix, the second Stu Gray Horse, is up on the inside, moving up into second now. Rico Boris is still wide for uh, Martin Leadham. Wizard, just behind that, the stable companion. They jump the water. Then comes another way, and Diamonds at the back of the field. But only four lengths first to last year, as it's Molly Awesome leads in the Somerset National for Alex Cherry from Alexander Mix in second. Then comes Sands Loy for Stu Gray. The two Martin Leadham horses together, Rico Boris and Wizard. Another way in between the two Martin Leadham horses, and on the rail we have Diamonds for Obi Wan as the rain comes down the ground is heavy here yeah? as Molly Awesome leads from Alexander Minx in second. Rico Boreas has moved back out he's moved up into third. He was travelled wide the whole way, probably in search of better ground. Wizard is just behind that. Uh, poking his nose up between the two Obi Wan horses uh, diamonds in another way. And at the back of the field we have Sans Loy for Stu Gray. So Molly Awesome in those orange colours and orange cap, the very de, um, sleeves, the very distinctive colours of Alex Cherry, leads from the black colours of Stu Gray. Oh, Molly Awesome's gone. The long term leader, Molly Awesome, took a crashing fall at that. And it's left Alexander Minx in front for Stu Gray from Rico Boreas from Martin Leadham. Wizard on that one's inside, then Alexander Minx, uh, then Sands Loy, uh, followed by Diamonds and another way at the back of the field. But only five lengths first to last year as Stu Gray's Alexander Minx is the new leader. Rico Boreas in second, then comes Wizard for Martin Leadham. They're followed by Diamonds on the inside of Sands Loy, and at the back of the field we have another way for Obi Wan. Yeah, in the driving rain is Alexander Minx, the leader, from Rico Boreas in second. They jump the next. They're all over it okay. The Diamonds has actually jumped into second. Rico Boreas and that one's inside. The Wizard is on the rail. Then comes Sands Lawyer, four deep. And at the back of the field, another way for Obi-Wan. But it's only about six lengths first to last as Alexander Minx. The new leader leads by about five lengths from Diamonds in second. As they're in the home stretch for the penultimate time. Wizard is back in third. They're followed by Sands Loy in fourth. Then comes another way, and Rico Boreas has dropped to the back of the field as they come to the next jump. Slow jump by Sands Loy. Cost him a few places, but the stable mate Alexander Mix still leads from and Diamonds in second. Wizard is on that one's inside as they jump what'll be the last next time round. And it's Alexander Minx, the leader, from Diamonds in second. Wizard on the inside. Then comes another way with Rico Boreas on the inside of another way and Sands Lloyd out wide as they pass the crowds and head off on their final circuit. And Alexander Minx leads for Stu Gray in the Somerset National. Diamonds is in second for Obi Wan with Wizard for Martin Leadham in third. They jump the next. A good jump by the leader, Alexander Minx. Diamonds are now clear second from Wizard in second. Stable mate of Diamonds, though, another way is in fourth. Then comes Sands Loy for Stu Gray. As they jump the next fence, which is the water, 
and they're all over it okay alexander mink's got a useful advantage now he's opened up about six lengths of, of diamonds in second wizard on that one's inside then comes rico boreas with another way on the outside of rico boreas and in between the two of them at the back of the field sans lawyer they all jumped out okay but still this alexander minx is about six lengths clear in the rain yeah from diamonds in second on the inside of diamonds is wizard they jump the next fence and on the outside of diamonds is another way and they're followed by rico boreas at the back of the Rico Boris has just got one behind him in Sands Loy. Alexander Minx, six lengths clear of the two Obi Wan horses, another way and Diamond. On the rail is Wizard, Rico Boris, and that one's outside. Then comes Sands Loy. Alexander Minx trying to come back to the field now as another way has closed to within three lengths of the leader. Diamonds have been pushed along in third. Sands Loy has moved past the few into third position. Then comes Wizard and Rico Boris. A slow and another fall of their Diamonds is gone. Diamonds has gone when starting to struggle actually. So it's Alexander Minx still the leader. Jockey sneaks a peek behind him. He sees another way and stable companion stands. Loy is moving very strongly for Ali for Stu Gray. So Alexander Minx leads, but yet comes Sands Loy for uh, Stu Gray. And so Stu Gray won two at the moment as Sands Loy sleeps onto into the lead. Sands Loy goes clear of Alexander Minx in second. Another way is back in third. Then the two Martin leader horses, Rico Boreas and Wizard. But Sands Loy with four four furs left to travel has gone four lands clear comes to the next jumps it well from Alexander Minx in second then comes another way doesn't seem to have any answer to this leader and pushed along at the back of the field Rico Boris and Wizard are both struggling now as Sands Loy has gone well clear of Alexander Minx in second another way is back in third not making much impression from the back of the field and it's Sands Loy who's come from the back of the field himself who's gone well clear yeah for Stu Gray is about six lengths clear of Alexander Minx in second then another way is back in third then Wizard Rico Boris can't win it Sands Loy as he comes to the next Next jumps it well from in second place Alexander Mix another way uh, challenging that one for second but they've got no answer to the lead at the moment and Sands Loy looks like he's going to win the Somerset National with a fur and left to trail just has to jump the last jumps it well and Sands Loy is going to win the Somerset National for Stu Gray wins it comfortably from another way in second for Obi-Wan uh, Wizard was running on might get third but it's a uh, Sands Loy, who got first run of them, took it up early and wins comfortably for Stu Gray, easing up near the line, so the, the, the distance probably, the, the, the second was probably flattered by the proximity to the leader. Sands Loy wins from, in second, another way for Obi-Wan. Wizard was back in third for Martin Needham and the long-time leader Alexander Mix was back in fourth for Stu Gray. Rico Boreas, the only other finisher for Martin Needham.